Hello and welcome to another Flowgrithms tutorial. Um, this is in response to a, a viewer question. Um, I'm assuming this is a high school or maybe um, a college question. Um, so I've got the question in front of me. Um, this is his problem. He wants to take a number and indicate if the remainder when divided by 3 is 0, 1 or 2. Take the first name and last name and print out the full name. Taking two numbers and a letter uh, if the letter's A, the numbers will be added, subtracted, divided, and, uh, and so on. Um, it didn't really sound like a, um, a single problem to me. I wasn't quite sure if this is one problem you had to solve or whether it was just three individual tasks. So I've, I've sort of done it as one problem, one task, but separate them out into three individual problems. And we'll have a little chat at the end as well about this last bit because there's a, a neat trick you might be able to apply here. So this is what I've done. So this first part here, I've broken your problem down to th the three steps. So this is the bit that deals with your um, your one, two, three. And it uses a technique called uh, modulo maths. Um, we we do this in sort of um, grade school here. So I would have thought you'd have covered the idea of division and then remainder. Um, there's a video if if you're not sure that's called. Um, or what did I call it, uh, odd or even, that's uh, on the flow rhythm tutorials. So basically, we've got our integer, we take our integer in, ask for the number, um, do the modulo arithmetic, so it's dividing by three, but the modulo gives you back the remainder. If the remainder is naught, or one, or two, it does this bit and tells you what the remainder was. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't do anything, it just says that the remainder was not one of those. So I think that covers that first bit. Um, take a number and indicate the remainder, and indicate the remainder. There you go. I think that I think that covers that. I think that's what you're asking for. Second bit is is about concatenation, it's about joining two things together. So that was fairly straightforward. I've got lots of examples on Flowgram that sort of demonstrate that. Uh, the break point here is just so I can run the program separately. So first name, second name, and strings. Input them. Um, in the output, if we look at it, we've got the first name. The ampersand to join the string, join it to a space, ampersand joins the surname, so it prints it out, and then the breakpoint to stop that part of the program. The last bit um, here takes in two numbers um, and then does that bit. That's fairly straightforward again, it's just basic decisions. So if we scroll down and have a look, there's our numbers coming in and our string for the sign. Get the two numbers, input the sign and then it's some nested ifs so if it's an a or an a we do the add otherwise we do that otherwise we do the multiply otherwise we do the division and if we've not used the symbol or it's just not unrecognized then just spits it back out again and the program ends so we'll run this look at the three different parts so i can enter a number so if i enter let's say 10 10 modulo 3 should give me a remainder of one so there's the remainder that bit's done programs pause it's at the break point here Run it carry on, first name, so put my first name in and my second name and it prints it out with the space in the middle as one name, so that's that break point there. And then finally the last little bit, oops. So we carry on. So we're going to enter our first number, so let's say 12, enter the second number, let's say 14, enter the sign. If I do uh, M for multiply. And we've got our answer and my program's ended. I, I could have put it into a, a while loop and run the whole lot again. I think that answers what you're looking for. There is a, um, just bring the documentation up for Flowgrithm. There is an interesting point that you could include um, if you're doing this. So if I just look at, let's see if I can find it, intrinsic functions. Um, in your task here, it says taking two numbers and a letter. Uh, letters A and, and so on. You could, if you took your input like this, so 12A would indicate the first number one, second number two, and it's an add. Now this makes the assumption that you're only looking for single digit numbers. You could you you could use um, this feature here because you know that um, the string, let's say the string was called uh, num input or something like that. The first character would be the number, so that string character zero the index second would be the second number and the third would be 
the A. So once we've got that, you can then use that. So you've got the first two numbers here. You could convert them to integers and then use the third bit to uh, to do the calculations. That could be a nice, neat little trick to show your teachers that you're, you're extending a little bit, but it would only work if you're using um, single digit numbers. So naught to nine. So the first number had to be a single digit. The second number had to be a single digit. It gets very complicated if you're trying to do 20 plus 30A. Um, because you'd need to know how many characters you've got but it's doable so you could actually do it all in one go make a nice little snazzy version of it but depending on what your teachers ask you for something like this where you take in the numbers any two numbers the takes in the sign nested ifs works a treat so I hope that helps if you've got any further questions or any other uh, tasks you'd like me to work through with you feel free to uh, drop me a message through YouTube thank you very much